I rise today, along with my colleague, Dr. Weber, to adjourn in the memory of a veteran of these chambers and an icon of public service in San Diego, former Assembly Member and State Senator Lucy Clay. Uh, Lucy passed away on Wednesday, January 18th, at the age of 94. As a legislator, Senator Calais was remembered as a champion of integrity in public service, as a mentor to many, as a tenacious advocate of issues such as water quality and conservation, recycling and promotion of alternative fuels, as well as government reform. Many of us remember Senator Calais as a courageous supporter of women's health issues, a stand which caused her to be sanctioned by her own church, and as a fearless maverick who famously declared her independence from partisan politics. Before entering politics, uh, Lucy had a very interesting career as an Army intelligence officer in World War II. She worked for Eleanor Roosevelt as a part of the United States uh, delegation to the first United Nations General Assembly in 1946, and she later worked for the Central Intelligence Agency. With her husband, Jack, she lived in Monterey and in Tijuana, Mexico, where Jack was the United States Consul General and what started a long and, uh, uh, reputation for being a supporter of San Diego as a binational region. In 1978, Lucy was appointed to the San Diego City Council, where she was reelected in the following year. She served as the Assembly Member for the 78th District from 1982 to 1989, and she went on to serve the 39th Senate District until 1996. After her career in the legislature, Lucy continued to work with various civic organizations, most notably the International Community Foundation, where she pushed to improve cross-border relations with Mexico. Senator Calais was inducted into the San Diego County Women's Hall of Fame in 1992, and last year I was pleased to join members of my Rotary Club, San Diego Rotary Club 33, to name her Mrs. San Diego 2016. Lucy was a role model for myself and many, many others. She will be sorely missed, and her legacy of independence and integrity in public service will li live on. Uh, again, I ask my colleagues uh, to join me in honoring the memory of Senator Lucy Calais and express our heartfelt sympathy to her surviving sons, Jay and DePaul.